Hi, I'm Corey with Retouch. I'm one of the project managers with the company. This is a project we did in Leewood. We had a uh, request from the client to update their coffee bar setup. They had a very small, compact. They were putting coffee, well, making a lot of coffee in a very small space. It was a little hazardous to people's health. It just burns. Probably shouldn't say that. They were making a lot of coffee in a small space. They felt very compact, everybody was rubbing shoulders, really uncomfortable. So they asked us to come in, make it bigger, make it more modern, very durable, something that would hold up, hold up for years to come. We installed a, we pulled the carpet and tile out, we put in new tile on the floors, put in new carpet tiles so that when people spill a cup of coffee, pull that one tile up, put a new one down, and all fixed. We put in a Cambria Countertops, which is a man-made quartz product. It's very durable, um, scratch resistant. It can take a hot coffee pot on it without discoloring or without cracking. We put in a composite sink so that if somebody drops a coffee pot in it, they're not gonna crack or chip the sink. We install the backsplash, the same material as the countertop to help, help with the maintenance issue. We've installed a plug, a plug strip underneath the upper cabinets so the coffee grinder as well as any other small appliances, waffle makers, whatever, can be plugged in with, uh, without having to do extension cords. We put in an LED uh, rope tape light for, for accent lighting so that they can dim it to what they want for a specific event. We hardwired a double air pot bun coffee maker with, uh, it can do two pots at once. It, have four, it has four pots with it so they can crank out more than enough coffee to keep everybody happy. On the end we put in a pantry cabinet that has pull-out drawers for coffee cups and coffee, coffee fixings. Make it as easy to use as possible. On the other side of the space, we before we go to the other side of the space, my favorite thing about this project, we have a pull-out Cookie, cookie table, cabinet, doors on both sides, same countertop material as the coffee bar itself, designed to slide underneath there but roll out easily to put cookie trays on or extra coffee pots, whatever you would need a satellite island for. On the other side of the space, there's a Fireplace that had been very outdated tile. Um, the footprint on the tile was huge. It just felt really disjointed. Didn't feel like it fit with the chairs and the seating around it. So when we pulled up the carpet, we shrank that back, put more, put the tile more in a, a concise pattern to make it feel a little bit more at home with the with the brickwork. The other pieces we did in the space, we recarpeted the entire room. We put in some rubber transitions on the doorways so that there's no lip between carpet and tile. Wheelchairs, dollies, whatever's going across there, there'll never be a bump there, so it's easy to use. We did all of that in seven days.